Hello, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and today I'm going to show you how to set up an S321 receiver as a rover. So, once we have ServeCE open, we're going to go into the Equip tab and hit the third option, GPS Rover. Once inside, we're going to make sure our manufacturer selected is Hemisphere GNSS and that the model is the S321. We're going to go into the Comms tab and find that our type should be set to Bluetooth. And any devices that we have already paired with the data collector will be found in this drop-down. The numbers that show up here are the serial numbers of the device. In the case of the S321, this number can be found on the bottom of the receiver. If your device has not already been paired with the data collector, you can hit this wrench and hammer button here next to the Windows Mobile drop-down in order to find and pair your device with the data collector. In order to ensure that our device is connected to Bluetooth, to the data collector, we're going to hit this receiver with the blue plug button to the left of the green check mark. This will just make sure that we are connected to the data collector. Next, we're going to move over to the receiver tab where we are going to enter our, an our antenna height. In this case, I'm going to say it's one and a half feet. It may be different for you. You measure this distance from the very bottom of the receiver to the ground. Next, we're going to hit advanced and we're going to select all the constellations we want. So we are going to use SBAS, GLONASS, Galileo, the new one that was just added with the new update, and Beidou. The more constellations we use, the more accurate our result will be as we have access to more satellites. Next, we're going to move over into the RTK tab, where we are going to make sure that under the device dropdown, we have the internal UHF selected. So that is the radio within the receiver. And once that's complete, we're going to hit this wrench and hammer button here. And this is going to take us to the radio configuration screen. It is here that we can check and change some of the settings that our radio is set to. So once we're in here, we're going to make sure that our power is set to 1 watt. This will help us get the greatest range out of our receiver. An important thing to make sure of is that your channel is the exact same as the channel that was selected on your base. If it is not, you will not receive any radio from the base and therefore you will not receive any corrections from the base. It is critical that you have the same channel on your rover and base. So once you are, have completed selecting your options here, you're going to hit the green check mark at the top of the screen. And once it's done configuring your device, you're going to hit the green check mark again. Now that you've done that, you're going to go over into your survey tab, store points, and here you can check if you are fixed, receiving corrections or not, so whether you're floating, and what your residuals are. Thank you. That's all for today. And if you have any questions, you can reach us at 1-888-286-3204 or online at benchmark.ca. Thank you.